Dead. Now I'm here with your pick a card tarot reading for Wednesday, Cinco de Mayo, May 5th, Ariba. Oh my gosh, what a crazy reading this is going to be. Ka, 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 crazy. And y'all may just, I may watch my YouTube channel. You know, uh, people that subscribe to my YouTube channel, I may watch that number just start dropping backwards as fast as it can because this is just the most out there reading. I mean, I thought the aliens reading was at what was way out there, but this takes the cake. Okay, so first of all, <laughs> let me just tell y'all, the critter that has shown up for y'all this morning is the opossum or the possum, and they are two different animals. They are not the same and um inverted so you know possums play dead they this they that yak 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 there could have been a lot of things that came through but oh no 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 on this wednesday which is the bridge day between two parts of the week the beginning and the end of the week on this wednesday where the mess and where the um planetary influences uh mercury the messenger between the heavens and the earth and this and the and the chakra is your solar plexus chakra, which is your midpoint chakra, which has, um, oh my gosh, there's just, we, I, we could go on for days about the psychicness of your gut and why it's got 80 jillion more neurons and then your brain, which is why um, this, that, anyway. So on, on this most auspicious Cinco de Mayo Wednesday of all days, um, when I was sitting meditating, on this reading and asking the animal allies to bring me, you know, what this is about for the wild pack. I won't describe the vision that I saw, but let me just say that it led me to having to do a little bit of research uh, this morning about possums. And who knew um, female possums have two uterus and two vaginas and male possums have a forked um, or it's called by Nakarakala, laka, 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 something penises. And of course, you know, me, the first thing I said was, well, double your pleasure, double your fun. Cause you know, I'm, listen, I'm a very practical Southerner. Oh, and a triple Scorpio. So that's where our mind immediately goes. If you have never known anybody like me, we just always go right there. So having said that, I was like, well, that's okay. That's interesting. But what does the double reproductive organ thing have to do with the Oh, I get it. So here's the story. Um, you know, it's Cinco de Mayo. So let's just say that the double reproductive organs could just mean double fisted drinking. You got a beer in each hand or margarita in each hand or a rum runner or something in each hand. Well, it's, you know, it's Cinco de Mayo. So beer. So, um, so that might be one of the things. Do not, Bernadette is not telling y'all to go out and drink. So don't write me and tell me I told y'all to go out and drink. I didn't. It's a joke. Um, but having said that, let me also say this. Because because the double doubleness is in the reproductive area, oh my gosh, is it is it obvious, right? That whatever you are hypothesizing planning or you're in the middle of planning, it needs a double so it so that it can reproduce effectively and get what you want because it's gonna happen in a very short amount of time. And here's why. Again, we're talking about the reproductive organs. Um, and in marsupials, which, which a possum and an opossum, you know, they're, they're part of the marsupial family. They only gestate for 12 days when they, when they get pregnant, that's it 12 days. And that little jelly bean really literally because baby possums are like baby kangaroo. They're born literally the size and shape of a jelly bean. Um, they, that tells me that whatever this two thing is, the two, the two is going to move very, very, very fast. And when I think about, uh, and I, when I say, when I think about, when I'm trying to hear these messages, especially what is kind of a complicated message for today, I, I want to be very, very sure that I deliver the message that the animal spirit guides are telling me. And what that means is this, the number two for whatever you're wanting to do in your life with other people by yourself, it could be start a business, grow a business. Um, it could be separate the two. You could be leaving a relationship, leaving a business. This could have something to do with your kids. Um, this could have something to do with your animal companions. But the bottom line is you've got to have a backup plan. And that's that really that this reading could be over. It's like, okay, spirit, you know, opossum bring you the message. You got to have a backup plan. Because this card is inverted, you don't. You haven't even considered it. And the backup plan that you've got to have 
could also mean, well, you have a, a, um, an, another uh, like thread to your business. You're, you're, you're bringing in another product. You're, you're learning another service. You're doing this, you're doing that. Or it could mean that you're bringing new people into your life, a new person in particular. It could mean uh, health related that whatever your health thing is that you've got going on. And I'm not a doctor. I'm not a medical professional of any kind, but maybe you need to add or take away a vitamin, a mineral of this, of that, or whatever. Okay. So whatever this two thing is, you, you've got to figure it out because you've got to have that backup plan. You've got to have another stream of something, whatever this is that you're doing, that's going to help you create what you want twofold and in a very short amount of time. So the other thing it's important to know about um, possums is that they truly can't control when they play dead. It's a, it's an autonomic stress, um, stress thing. And they just, you know, when in, in times of stress and fear, they just flop over and play dead. When possum is inverted, it is not time to do that. It is time to recognize about yourself that that is your natural response is you just, you know, when things are confrontational or you're in fear or, you know, you're feeling uncomfortable or stressed or anxiety, you just go, oh, and you deflate. You cannot do that at this time because I, I just keep hearing the word reproduction, reproduction, reproduction in my head over and over and over. So this little possum is bringing you the big message of it's time to reproduce. <laughs> it's going to go fantastically. Now, are you going to have to carry that puppy on your back for a long time? Because that's how possums do it. They carry all their babies on their back for a long time. Yes. Okay. Um, but okay. For what you're going to get in the end of it all, when that, whatever you're reproducing can stand on its own, uh, it, the risk will be worth the reward. And it's not really a risk. It's more like a, like the work will be worth the reward. But having said that, let me say this. It is always up to you what you want to reproduce and when you want to reproduce it. Now, not so much in the animal kingdom. I, I don't, you know, I don't know that male possums ask polite permission from female possums when it's time to mate. I don't know that. Um, I know that all animals have like a mating thing that they do, but, but some get to choose and their mates and some don't, and you know, all that in between, you are absolutely being called to make a choice. You are absolutely being called to know that you cannot play dead. You cannot just keel over with your tongue hanging out of your mouth with your eyes rolled in the back of your head. It cannot happen. This is a big stair step for you in your own, um, spirit evolution that you can, you can reproduce, meaning you can breathe life into and give life to whatever this is that you want. What, and I feel like it's probably something you have going on. Um, but yeah, this is not the time, uh, this is not the time to roll over and play dead. Now, also having said that, let me say this. Possum can look just about as ferocious as, uh, as a wombat, well, not a wombat, but as a, um, what's the word I'm thinking? Um, what's that funny video about whatever, whatever, don't care. I'll think of it in a minute. Y'all know it. Um, it's hilarious. The, the, the language on it is just filthy, but it's hilarious because this is, oh my gosh, y'all, what's the animal that can, what is the little baby animal that can take down cobras and, and often does, I can't think of it, but I'll think of it. Um, anyway, when possum, you know, bears its teeth, it really can look terrifying and it's about the least terrifying animal on the planet. I mean, you know, short of baby kittens, I don't, you know, they're really not, they don't see very well, number one, and they're lovers. They're not really fighters. They're, they're big moms really is what they, is really what they do. Now, having said that, let me say this. Um, I will tell you also that I got for you this morning that it's time to, to, uh, have, that aggressive energy have that dual reproduction, but it's also time to be very careful of what you say. And here's why. Uh, possums are fantastic for helping stop the spread of Lyme disease, which has become an epidemic in America. And why? Because uh, and it can be absolutely, absolutely linked to the decline of 
a couple of populations of animals, but in particular the possums as we get the, you know, the urban sprawl and that kind of thing, because they will eat thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of ticks every year. They eat them. They're also, um, they are also uh, impervious to most poison snake venoms. In fact, that I know of, it's all poisonous snakes. Their venom, um, possums are absolutely uh, immune to it. So when I see the possum inverted, it doesn't always come up in someone's reading that it's about keeping your mouth shut. But today it is because you, 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 you're not equipped at this moment, meaning it's not a good time for you to be taking in disease, to be, to be taking it in by eating the ticks or putting it out by being vocal once you've done that. It's just a time to be quiet and do your thinking and your planning and your, and your strategizing because you're going to move through whatever this is you're doing. You're going to reproduce. It's going to be, I know all this sounds kind of kooky y'all and maybe even a little bit like kind of scary, but it's really not. It really, really is not because on the other side of it, it's going to be crazy amazing for you. Whatever this is that you're doing twofold really is going to be twofold. And if you will create that backup system, it's, it's almost like it just can't fail. It just cannot fail. Once you've set it in motion, you've got it all stable. I'm not saying you can sit back and just, you know, never ever have to lift a finger again. But I think you'd be very surprised what, uh, how much easier things are going to get for you. Um, and only one other thing in my hearing uh, about the possum is it really is, they, they really do have terrible eyesight. And so you are being called to recognize that you're not seeing what's really there or all that is there. And one of my, if this is helpful, one of my favorite questions when I hire somebody or I'm going to ask questions about something, you know, let's, I'm having new shelves put in my kitchen, right? Okay. I don't, I've never put up shelves before. I don't know the difference from one wood to the other, whatever, whatever. So I went down to our local place here in Gainesville that has been around a thousand years and do a very fine job of custom cabinetry and wood and that kind of thing. And I was talking to the fellow about what I wanted. And I, when we got to the end of the conversation, I said, okay, now, are there questions that I should have asked that I just don't know to ask? He says, as a matter of fact, yes. And we had this whole conversation about the type of wood and how much it can handle in a load and what you can do with it and the appearance of it. And I would have never known to ask this question. I, I would have never known because I didn't know about the wood. It never occurred to me that the type of wood um, would dictate how heavy a shelf may be, how this, how that. I, 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 and there are a couple other things that went into it, but I would really encourage you to ask, what, what don't I know to ask and, and let, let the people who are experts in that field tell you what you simply didn't know to ask and get the answers so that you can see everything very clearly. So I hope that was helpful. Pick up your copy of the Arc Animal Tarot and Oracle Deck, subscribe to my YouTube channel and get on over to gatheringthemystics.com so you can discuss all things metaphysical, spirit animally. It's just all kind of spiritual goodness over there. So get there. All that being said, what's the most important thing to do good for animals, including yourself? Stay wild and what? And make sure that you see things very clearly. That's a big one right now. All right. Take care, everybody.